everybody so welcome back to our Dragon Fable. So last time, we just finished up doing all the stuff like the well, say bands and all the little extra little war things. So now we're going to be starting to save the Limcrest. Now I've already got these elemental essences. I figured out that you only need three now. It used to be that you needed to get ten. But there was a change to recently which is pretty cool. Um. I remember in the original Let's Play, I farmed like 10 of them on camera and took like two videos and I kind of regretted it. Oh yeah, I want to say as well, if you notice how my character's glowing, I did go buy this cool trinket in the book. If you go to backup page, go to Radiant Shimmer, it's part of the Mogloween update, so it will stay there for very long. And it's pretty cool, it allows you to empower yourself five times at the cost of your avoidance, so you get a 25% damage buff um, at the cost of your avoidance, so you won't really be able to dodge any attacks, but I think that's a pretty good trade-off. It's not very powerful, it's only level 1, and it only offers kind of shitty stats, but I think it's pretty cool, and we don't have a trinket right now, so it might be quite useful getting like a free 25% damage boost. I just thought I'd let you know if you want to do my character's glowing. So we're about to Warlick, so we've got to other quests, we've got to save Limcrest. Uh, I will make these quests available to you in exchange for elemental lessons from the element quests. We've already got those, so we need three. The locket, and we're on Roof of Fire. Recently the town mining, the mining town of Limcrest, to the west and south of here, has been having a lot of trouble with the local elemental population. Something has thrown off the balance between the elements and the driven them mad. To add their trouble, add to their troubles, the river that runs beside town, the river itself, has been set on fire. Don't understand they set water on fire, but here we go. I would like you to go investigate the river of fire, see if you can help the miners. I will see if I can find the source of the elemental imbalance. Okay. So I just realised that we have a fire weapon, <laughs> which is a terrible idea. We'll switch to this for now, pretty good. And we'll summon our dragon, because I did feed him. And as I said about six times, he does seem to de-summon, so I'll switch him to water as well. That'll be quite nice. These guys should die in one shot. Close enough. Let's actually try out this new trinket, so... 25 boost for minus 300 avoidance. It does obviously use that 10. But. And I think it's a good trade off. I know in like the late game stuff, like maybe in at the edge of time, like being able to avoid an attack or two could be life or death. But. Oh, that's pretty nice. I think that. You know, you don't, you're never really relying on dodging attacks, I find. It's just kind of like, a, oh look, I dodged it. Nice. <laughs> you don't really think, oh, if I dodge, dodge this attack, I'll survive. Like, maybe sometimes, but it's, it's not really a thing. If you're in really low health and you're about to die, you kind of accept your defeat at that point. Like, yeah, in a miracle, you might dodge the attack, but I don't know, you don't really have too much chance of that, so. Oh, we just got healed. When I bend Falgrave to the ground, ah, good times, good times, Zan. I don't know why you're doing this to the river, Zan, but you need to change it back. You're making the people of Vinicrois suffer, our hero. Why are you telling him that? He clearly doesn't give a shit. That is exactly the reason that I have replaced their precious river with lava, to make the small-minded miners suffer. Change it, it back, Zan, or I'll make you change it back. Hmm. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and what would you do to me, little hero? Ow. That was a little reminder of my power. But the power of Nomicon, neither you or that fool Warley can stop me. You will all be made to suffer. Ah. Uh, you're not looking so well. Yeah. That really hurt. <laughs> Good. I'd stay to finish you, but I have other things to attend to, so I'll let Basil finish you off. It would be really easy for him if he just killed me. <laughs> it's like in um, the Wrath of Xan War, he should have killed me. 
Finally, I have the power to punish Warlick for his crimes. Uh, yeah, we have to battle a battle with half my HP. Kind of shit. Can get a stun. Uh, he's resistant. By 60. I actually die against this guy. He's really powerful. I will grab this. Might as well. It doesn't really have an animation. You just click it and it's automatically done. <laughs> Oh well. Boom, nice. Extra damage. I'm probably gonna. Wait, I don't think he'll kill me in one shot. Ooh, nearly. Right, I could do this. And the next enemy should be dead. Okay then. That was a bit tricky. Almost failed. Hmm. More and more impressive, mid nerd. Wallet chooses his allies well. Not that it matters to me. With the power of Nomicon by my side, I cannot fail. You pay, Warlick, and I won't allow me nerd to get in my way. Ah. Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna. Zan the Brick. The insane power mount of Zan has replaced the water in Limpcrest River with a scalding lava floor. If you do not find a way to get the water back soon, Limpcrest will be doomed. Alright, so fetching fire. I see, Zan is behind the river of fire. All of the elemental disturbances are most likely these doing as well. You may have already found this out for yourself, but I shall warn you, if you wish to continue helping me, Zan is a very dangerous foe. He has been after me for years, and if he sees you as my ally, he will also be after you at all costs. His hate for me runs very deep. It all goes back to the time that we both spent at the Magic Academy in Salthaven. Zan and I were almost competitive, but when it came to the affection of Jania, we were out of control. One day there was an accident. Zan was engulfed in flames, and the only thing that I could do to save him was to change the normal fire to a healing fire. That was like a weird thing to do. The flames that surrounded his body were the only things that keeping him alive. But he lives in constant agony. For all, for all his madness and hatred, I am glad that I was able to save him. But poor, beautiful Jania. Excuse me, I was lost in thought. Back to the threat at hand. I think I can change the river back to its natural water state. But I will need a sample of the flaming water from its source. It flows from a fire cave in the elemental mountains. Bring me a sample of the pure flaming water, so that I may test my theory. We will save Limgrass to give them a nerd. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I hate this bit. <laughs> Trying to dodge those, like, fire plumes is a bit crap. Oh, that did really big amount of damage. It is double the damage there, so I guess that makes sense. But still, that was like 200. How, how could I even do that much? Even on like a high rolled attack. Like, I don't know, it was, I guess it is a power attack and it was, oh that hit me. How did that hit me? It does so much damage. I would say this as well, ah, uh, when, when you, oh I just got hit twice, I am literally almost dead. That's amazing. Can't believe it, I'm gonna start using my shield a bit more often. And then my dragon's heal. But that's annoying. <laughs> It's like, well, when you defeat a monster, it spawns you back in. And it spawns you on the floor next to the lava. That just hits you. You have to do that really quick. Ooh. I dodged that one really well. Healing pad. Right here. Oh, that's a nice healing pad. It's funny, because these things aren't even boss fights. They're just really powerful base enemies. I mean, they're not base enemies. Otherwise, they'd be everywhere, like the slimes. But still. I like mini boss fights. Hit him. Especially at this point in the game, like if I did not have this water weapon, it'd be a lot harder. Like a lot harder. And there he goes. Lever. You flip the lever and you hear a distant noise. Guess what that noise is? Hard to get it, guess. Nah. No. Okay, you'll find out in a say. It was. Drumwell, it lowered the bridge. Metal bridge over lava. Hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. <laughs> I like how we stood there to like 
Say it. Just like, oh, this lava is burning my feet. You've secured the sample of magical flaming water for a warlick. Maybe now we'll be able to help the people of Limcross change their river back to cool, drinkable water. Maybe firebrand of 25 sword. Oh, that's pretty good. And what it looks like. I always, I always like to look at their appearance. It's important to me. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Kind of. All right, so Wind Mountain. This quest is a pain in the ass. Zan has actually changed the nature of the water itself. Any normal water will be poured into the river will be set on fire. I might be able to reverse the process. There is a spring of purest elemental water in the mountains. To get the spring, you will have to cleave the mountain pass. It is normally guarded by wind elementals. But there is the wind cyclops guarding the mountain pass now. Any traveler that goes too close gets blown off the mountain top. If I enchant the bottle before you can cleave the pass, the magic will wear off before you can get the water sample, and the water will lose its purity. A way must be cleaved before you can get the sample. If you can defeat the Cyclops and clear the pass, return to me and I will enchant the container for the spring water. Okay. Sounds pretty good, healing bird. Right, so we're here, sir. Stone man 50. I don't know why there'd be drones on a mountain, but oh well. Alright, we're here. I hate this boss. Old man. The reason why I think this is old man, the... If you do the Dragon Lord training to get the skills for the Dragon Lord class, it, the thing's called the Old Man of the Mountain, the boss that you fight, and I think it just takes his name as like a glitch. So I, think, I don't know why. They might have like copy and pasted something about the boss and just not changed the name or something. I can't, I can't remember. But I think that's why he does that. It's so weird. Grr. You cannot beat Huff Puff. Huff Puff will blow you off the mountain in five breaths. So you have to basically kill him in five tens. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to be doing, um, what do you call I'm going to get this actually, it might be helpful. I'm definitely not going to, you do extreme mode. That's literally impossible. But yeah, we have to be really careful here. I don't know if I should go defend because, although it's a good skill, it will be like a ten of downtime. And I don't know if I'll be very helpful. No, because it'll be like a 10 with no damage being dealt. So you basically just got to ignore all of these. If we fail to have badly against him, I will probably have to use maybe Artics or just get a companion to help us. I won't really like doing that because I don't really like relying on them, but this boss is a bit shit. And I think it's going to be like two turns as he blows off the cliff. Wait, one... Two, three. Yeah, two more turns. So I'm fucked basically. Unless I can kill him in this next turn. Which might happen actually. 63. This is going to be very close. We do have that buff from the. What do you call it? That trinket. There we go. Just enough. Damn. But yeah, it's really shit fine. Now you got to kill these. While we're healing. And we're all done. Stupid half buff. God damn it. Wow, you really took the wind out of Huff Puff's sails and lungs. Well done, Hera. Now that the mountain is clear, we're going to walk and get direction to the spring. Nice, last breath. Oh, I mean, it's terrible, but I don't think we have a good necklace. So, I would save yes to this. Did this. I don't think we have even any necklace, do we? No, they'll definitely take this. Last breath, equip. And I actually forgot that I can put this favor, favor the necrotic sword thing. <laughs> I think it'll, I think it saves us part of the build. Does it say on here? Oh yeah, the necrotic sword of doom special. Bigger, nice. So a couple of upgrades. Oh, so the pure pool. The enchanted bottle is ready for you to get a sample from the purest part of the pure pool. Pure pool. The waterfall that feeds the pool. <laughs> but I learned something in Limcrest that I might find interesting. Many years ago, before the village even had a name, a baby boy named Zan 
was under Bonander's unusual circumstances. He, as he grew, it became apparent that he possessed some natural skill in magic. The miners were made nervous by his skill with magic, which is common with magically gifted, but are often misunderstood. In this small mining village, there were no other children to play with, and young Zan was hungry for attention. So Zan tried to get attention the only way he knew how, by causing bad things to happen and hurting innocent people. Zan, of course, was too clever to get caught, but everyone suspected that the strange fires in the village were his doing. As Zan grew to be a young man, he became proud of the village's fear, which he mistook for respect. Eventually, tragedy struck and Zan's parents were killed in an unknown serious fire. That day that Zan left for magic had been sought haven. The fire stopped that day in Limcrest. I'm not sure if Xanders could have controlled his power, or if he was always dangerously insane. But it appears that Xanders returned to punish the man of the Limcrest, who he felt always treated him with less respect than he deserved. You have to stop Zan and change his river back before Limcrest is punished further. We have no time to waste. Now that the path is clear, head to the pier pool and take a sample of the pure elemental water for me, while I prepare the counter spell. Yes indeed, we are using a fire weapon, which all of these enemies are weak to, even nice sir. And a level up level 15, oh we actually have final now, which is our last skill. Nice, one hit for 125% damage, and this attack is 200 crit, which is like a guaranteed crit. So one, let's compare it to this. So one, oh that's pretty good actually. Oh, well I don't know actually, it's about, it's about, I don't know, it's a little bit better than power. So I guess it's good, but not too much better. There's a big boss battle. Splashy. Perfect name for a big. Tell. <laughs> it's like a Hydra mix of a big turtle. I was about to be kind of getting our ass kicked, but I was staring at his HP bar. Kind of a stupid idea, I know, but yeah, I was, I was just watching his bar getting chunked. Splashy, the pier pulls Guardian lies defeated at your feet, and you can feel your toes squishing inside your socks. You've gotten the water in sample from the purest part of the pool. Now all you can change the river of fire back to water. Awesome. Typhoon staff. I'll pass up on that as well. I can't really bother to sell weapons anymore. It's a Zan's fortress. I have the great news. You did it. The pure elemental water wait. We started a reaction that will change the river of fire back to water. Limcrest is safe. For a while. Limcrest is still in danger. It will always be in danger. As long as Zan is in possession of the Paranomicon. We don't have any choice, Binnert. We have to try to sneak into Zan's volcanic fortress and take the Paranomicon any way we can. Oh, okay. We must be very careful. Zan has wanted me dead for years, and I'm sure that he doesn't like you very much either. After everything that you've done to stop him, so, what's your plan? My plan? This sneak into Zan's volcanic fortress and take the Paranomicon plan was your idea. Right, but I mean after that. Zan wanted to say, Oh, you want the book that increased my powers a thousand times? Sure, here you go. Have a nice walk back. I mean, how do we get out? How about we fight our way back out? That's not really not much of a better than mine plan, that makes sense. Let's just concentrate on getting the Paranormicon and not getting killed in the process. We'll worry about that escaping if we get that far. That's reasonable. Lead the way. I will do. These enemies are fire based, so I'm going to have to switch to this actually. Awesome. And I'll also change the dragon to water. He said something like, Hey, how did you get here before me? And he suddenly skipped it. Magic. There is no guards here. 
and not a single monster on the path leading to the door. That's kind of odd. Do you think that we just walked into a dunk? Oh, trap. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> Sometime later, deep within Zan's volcanic fortress, inert, wake up, I'm dead. Just five more minutes, Mum. Wake up. No need to perk with your staff. Out of my head. Where? Where are we? I go to my home, Midnight. Thank you for bringing Warlick all this way for me. Ha uh, I assume that eventually you would try to sneak in and take the Paranormal from me. I told you it was a bad idea. Bad plan. Quiet. You're going to make me lose my place. Now. I preferred my revenge on you both for some time. With your humiliating defeat has arrived at last. Ah. Uh, Zan, with all the new power you have found away, a witch free Jania, do not speak her name. It's your fault that she's imprisoned in that crystal. It's your fault that I look like, like this. If you had been able to control your magic during our duel, you would want to be the one to free her so that she will love you instead of me. I told her I love her more than you ever did. And with the power of the Paranormicon, I... I haven't been able to open the shard. But I'm close. So close. Once I'm done with you, I can focus on my... and all my energy on Fringenia. And when she emerges, and you're already dead, she'll thank me and love me forever. Ah, uh, Zan, it was like our mind unleashed magic that trapped her. If we wait together, use our powers together again, then maybe... No more tricks, Warlick. You've reached the end of your rope. However, you, Minert, I can, I can't deny your power. I would be a fool to let it go to waste. I have a proposal. Kill Warlick. Kill him and I will release you. And share the power of the Paranomicon with you. Kill the Blue Mage while I watch and, and all this power that I have is yours. What do you say? If you press this, you instantly just die. And he says that, oh, Zan backstabbed you or something. So, no, uh, no, that's the best. I agree, sorry. No way. No way, you lunatic. You want Warnick, you're gonna have to go through me. Actually, I'm okay with that. Welcome to my own personal battle arena, where there is only one simple rule. Whoever lives goes free. You two will be fighting for your lives against hand-picked monsters from my army. Please, pre please, prepare yourselves, fools. The battle is about to begin. We have some basic bitch slimes. Well, sports fans, it looks like the Lava Globs never stood a chance. Let's see who is next. Another round. And plus, I think disease is a really good element to have. And all of enemies seem to have like big disease resistance. So like disease weapons can actually go a long way. I think anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. But it feels like they don't have a lot of disease resistance. It's not like dark where a lot of enemies are resistant to dark. Kind of annoying. The Inferno Elementals brought up a little more of a fight, but still no match for Wallach and Midnight. He's really enjoying this, isn't he? These guys are really weak. Wait, why did that do no damage? That guy still stood up even though he's dead. <laughs> I can still target him, apparently. Makes sense. I'm not going to question it. Dragon Faber logic. The Sun Warriors have fallen, but it looks like the heroes are starting to get tired. Ah. Uh, oh look, another Basalt. The fan favourite, Basalt, has been defeated. Only one fight remains, and both heroes are still standing. Now, for the main event. The fight that you've all been waiting for. Midnight vs Warlick. What? Zan, you said. What I said was, whoever lives, goes free. I intend to keep my word. But secretly, I'm rude for you. Go, Midnight, go. We don't have a choice. What are you talking about? You can always choose not to fight. Always. 
Yes, one of us has to live. Zan is too strong for us, for the Paranormicon. If I win, he's sure to kill me anyway. If you live, he may let you go. You're going to have to defeat me. No. Minna, I know you want to do is right. I know you want to do what is right. But this is our only choice. And if I have to really fight you, just to get you to defend yourself, then I'll do it. I won't hold back. So you better not neither. Better not either. Okay. So we'll put back on the disease weapon. I have to beat the shit out of Warlick. He's getting right. He's supposed to be like a, a really powerful mage. But he's just getting the shit kicked out of him. Pathetic. Ow. He actually kind of hurts. Why, why would you do that to me, Warlick? You asshole. But he's dead. <laughs> You did it. You got rid of Warlick. Oh, Minnert. You've made the happiest mage on law. Wait, what? What's happening to Warlick's body? An illusion. The Warlick you fought was an illusion. That's right. <laughs> Oof. Quick, Minnert. You have to defeat Zan. I think I can cut the power of the Paranormicon off from him. I have to keep chanting the spell to contain the Paranormicon's power. It's up to you. Wallach, you could have told me that you had a plan. Can we talk about this later, please? I need to focus. Oh yeah, sure, sorry. Okay, Zan, it's not it's now it's just you and me. You think I need the paranormal gun to kill you? Huh. My magic skills are more than a match for you. Even without the book. Once I defeat your friend, I'm coming for you, Wallach. Do you hear me? Huh. I think he does. He has got a very loud voice. Shall I use a... Uh, yeah, I'll probably switch from water. And he is fucked. Look at him. He seems to be very shocked. Simply amazing. What a battle. Eh, eh, ha, ha. You think you defeated me? You think you broke my power? Ah. Uh, that is an over. I'll destroy you. Both of you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Thumbs up. So long, asshole. Zan? Did he? Is he? I don't think so. But you've got. But you beat him. And we've got the Paranormicon. It's too powerful to destroy. But it's too dangerous to keep in my tower. I think I know the right place to keep it hidden. And who knows? Maybe Zan was right. Maybe it is powerful enough to set Jania free. The important. The important this is that is out of hands of that madman. I can't believe that you were strong enough to defeat Zan on your own. You saved Limcrest, my friend, and you saved me. Thank you, Minert. I am forever in your debt. You have defeated the insane Paramancer Zan, and the powerful term called Paranomicon is safe in Wally's hands. But was that the end of Zan? Could his mastery of the fire protect him from lava? Only time will tell. Elemental, no thank you. I said so the end. This is like a basic, basically an extra quest. It's not really part of the story, but you can do it. Minute, you got a big problem. When Zan was knocked into the lava, the remaining magic of the Paranomicon bound to it. Zan in his lava titan form has erupted from the side of the mountain. He's lost control of himself. In this form, his magic is more like madness, and there's nothing that can do to control it. Zan has become a laughing beast, and he will be impossible to stop until he burns himself out. But with magic fire, that will never happen. Limcross Falkarich on every town for miles is doomed. Unless, yes, a dragon lord and his dragon might be able to stop Zan. Do you think that you have the power to stop Zan? Yes. I'm the best, you see. Kaboo! There he is. I wish I didn't use that much mana, but... He should be okay. He's weak to water a little bit. And I need some more abilities on my dragon. But... You know... I need to get some levels. And he's down. Awesome. Well done, Dragonlord. Lava Titan Zan has been defeated. 
and once more you and your dragon have saved countless lives. So when that gigantic mass of lava and madness was Royal Zan, has he been defeated once for all? Question mark. Janie's blade and dagger. Looks pretty cool actually. But we also have a reward shop. Gonna have a look at. The bandits from Linkers are very particular about who they sell the weapons to, but you have earned their thanks. They have allowed me to sell these items to you, and only you. You may purchase anything that you see here. I may purchase anything. Make sense? It'll give me a reward. Myself to buy it. I'm gonna just pass up because we already have that the lava sword we got. So, either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Next time, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be starting the pirate ninjas window section. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.